Next, we're going to talk about the algebra of matrices. Uh, in this video, we'll talk about kind of the simple algebraic operations and relations between matrices. And in the next video, we'll talk about matrix multiplication, which is a little bit more complicated. So the idea is that matrices inherit the algebraic operations from their entries. Since bits have the operations of join, meets, and complements, we're going to get those operations on the matrix as well, defined in the following way. So if A is an M by N Boolean matrix, then the complement of A is created by taking the complement of each one of the entries. So for example, let's let A be the uh, 3 by 2 matrix, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. And if I take the complement of that, then I get the matrix 0, 1, uh, 1, 0, 0, 0. That was obtained just by kind of quote unquote flipping all the bits over. Uh, if B is also a Boolean matrix the same size as A, then I can take the join and meet of A and B by taking the join and meet of the respective entries. So A join B is equal to the matrix whose entries are the joins of A and B, uh, and then A meet B is the matrix whose entries are the meets of the respective elements of A and B. Uh, really important here that A and B have to be the same size. So as we do these examples, we'll see what happens if A and B are not the same size. So let's take the uh, 2 by 3 matrix, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and join it with the 2 by 3 matrix. They both have to be 2 by 3 matrices. 0, 1, 0, 0. 1, 1, 0. And so what I'm going to do is one entry at a time, I'm going to look and see what the joins are. So the join of 1 and 0 is 1. Then the join of 0 and 1 is 1. Then the join of 0 and 0 is 0. So notice if I'm taking the join of two matrices, I'm going to get a lot of ones. If I take the meet, I'm probably going to get a lot of zeros. So the other three entries are one, one, and zero. Notice the result is also a two by three matrix. Uh, let's do that the other way. Let's take the same two matrices and take their meet. All right, the meet of 1 and 0 is 0. The meet of 0 and 1 is 0. The meet of 0 and 0 is 0. The meet of 0 and 1 is 0. The meet of 1 and 1 is 1. And the meet of 0 and 0 is 0. So like I said, we get a lot more zeros when we take the meet. Uh, think about what would have happened now if instead my first matrix was just a 2 by 2 and my second matrix was a 2 by 3, right? Then when I came time to figure out what the meat of this entry was, we wouldn't have anything to pair it with over here. We wouldn't, uh, that wouldn't be well defined. So that's why our entries, our matrices have to be the same sizes if we're going to take their joins and meets. This isn't an operation so much as it's a relation. Uh, we can define an order we'll use the less than or equal to sign on bits and therefore Boolean matrices in the following way. And so I have this comment right here. If it bothers you that we're just creating our own order on a set, uh, stay tuned for the rest of this unit uh, and your concerns will be answered. Uh, so in bits, we're going to define the order uh, and we'll call it less than or equal to because that's basically what it is. Uh, we're going to define the order less than or equal to by saying that the bit zero is less than or equal to the bit zero. It's also equal, less than or equal to the bit 1, and then 1 is only less than or equal to the bit 1. So another way to define this is that the only false statement is that 1 is less than or equal to 0. So that's the only false statement in this ordering. Uh, then we're going to let A and B be Boolean matrices of the same size, again, because we're going to have to have something to compare for every one of our bits. Uh, we say A is less than B as matrices if AIJ is less than BIJ as bits for all I and J. And another very useful way to think about this is B never contains a zero where A contains a one. So let's see a couple of examples of that. We've got the matrix 
0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. And that matrix is less than or equal to the matrix 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And the, one of the ways we can tell is by looking at every entry of the first matrix and seeing that as bits, it's less than or equal to every entry of the corresponding matrix. So 0 is less than or equal to 0, 1 is less than or equal to 1, 0 is less than or equal to 1, 0 is less than or equal to 1, 1 is less than or equal to 1, and 1 is less than or equal to 1. Another way to check is that the right-hand matrix never contains a 0 in the same spot that the left-hand matrix contains a 1. So if we just look at those spots, we can also tell that the two matrices are related in this way. Uh, as a counterexample, let's check out the matrix 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and the matrix uh, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Now, even though the right-hand matrix contains more 1s than the left-hand matrix, there is a spot where the right-hand matrix contains a 0, even though the left-hand matrix contains a 1. And so that means that the left-hand matrix is not less than the right-hand matrix. Finally, transposing a matrix means to exchange the rows and columns. So if A equal to the matrix of entries AIJ is a n by n matrix, its transpose is going to be the n by n matrix a, J, I. And so what that means is that the rows and the columns have been swapped. For example, if my matrix is 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, its transpose is the matrix 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Notice that, for example, the element A, 1, 2 has become the element A, 2, 1 in the transpose. Really, it's A transpose to 1. If a matrix is equal to its own transpose, we say that it's symmetric. For example, we've got the matrix 0, 1, 0, uh, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. If we take the transpose of that, we get the same thing. So we would call this matrix symmetric.